Brandon Royval is primarily known for his exciting submission game and aggressive fighting style. His striking isn't focused on as much by most people, but he has made underrated improvements over his career worth discussing. Royval has been an active southpaw since the start. One of his biggest struggles in his early career was getting hit on the entry. His lack of head movement and feints had him walking into easy counters, especially rear straights. When he did try to feint, it was often disconnected from his striking, thrown at an unconvincing range and abandoned as exchanges heated up. Adding a pumping jab has helped Royval greatly. He's an active enough jabber that it's convincing, and he can cover lots of distance while entering relatively safely. Bouncing his lead foot in and out also helps disguise one he will commit. When throwing in combination, Royval tends to use the classic jab cross hook. It's nothing fancy, but his aggression and other tools discussed later play into it well. The same aggression that hurt Royval in his early career has also been one of his greatest benefits. Volume and willingness to get in the pocket can have a superior striker on paper overwhelmed. Many would consider Kaikara France a better pure striker than Royval, but Royval's aggression had Kaikara France struggling to get his offense established and on the back foot, relying heavily on the counter overhand. The addition of a check hook has given Royval an ability to counter on the back foot. His aggression typically has him crashing into the clinch, but in recent fights he has shown more willingness to give space and use the check hook. The southpaw check hook is a popular counter for southpaws, often looping over the lead shoulder as an opponent closes distance. Other southpaw kicking submission threats like Luke Rockhold achieve great success with this punch, in Rockhold's case the check hook being the majority of his boxing game. Royval gave up lead foot positioning often in his early career one of the most fundamental elements of the open stance matchup. Having one's lead foot outside of their opponents puts you farther away from their rear hand, while putting your rear hand on a straight path to your opponent. Foot positioning gets Royval in a lot less trouble than in his early fights. Part of this is because he fights more assertively for lead foot control, but he also has found a way to use traditionally poor positioning to his advantage. Like in many disciplines where you learn fundamentals, rules of striking are meant to be understood, then can be broken at appropriate times. An example of this is leading with the rear cross. Conventional boxing knowledge says not to do this, as it has a longer distance to travel and is telegraphed. Despite this, elite fighters can overcome this with feints, positioning, expectations, or any number of other parts of striking. In other words, the barrier of entry to use the strike safely means beginners are told just to avoid it. Royval breaks the rule of foot positioning to set up a spinning strike. The distance needed for the spin is greatly reduced by being inside, making it faster, and intercepting an opponent moving up out the outside angle. Another part of why Royval lands so many spinning attacks is that he throws when he knows his opponent is coming in. One of these is kicking and kneeing, when his opponent tries to close the gap and strike or clinch while he is stuck in place. A similar opportunity is when he's hurt, as his opponent swarms to try to finish him. Royval famously rocked Kaikara France with this, but also can be seen trying it earlier in his career. Royval's submission threat and his aforementioned spinning makes opponents apprehensive to try to take him down off kicks. He uses this to his advantage, opening up with kicks in a way many fighters would be uncomfortable doing. He is not a picky kicker, happy to throw round kicks to the legs, body, and head against both orthodox and southpaw opponents. Kicking has been a core part of Royval's game since the start, but he has become slightly more selective and controlled in his later career. Royval has utilized knees since the beginning of his career. He most often uses stepping knees. One way he will set these up is by kicking. Kicks often hold an opponent in place while they block, allowing Royval to quickly follow up while the opponent is stationary. He will also chain stepping knees together. These are a great tool to close distance. With the default response by most MMA fighters to a knee being to back up, Royval can push an opponent back to the fence and start unloading combinations. Another benefit to these marching knees is what we see in the Mateus Nicolau fight. Nicolau sees Royval's first knee coming, so backs up and prepares to counter an out of position Royval. Royval instead instantly steps through on a second knee, catching Nicolau in the middle of his attempted counter. Brandon Royval is currently ranked number 4 in the flyweight division. He is the obvious next contender to challenge the champion Pantoja, and claimed on social media he is close to finalizing the fight. This would be a rematch of their 2021 fight, which was the last loss Royval has taken.